everyone welcome to this video by Intellipad in this video we take a look at branch coverage testing branch coverage testing is a white box software testing technique branch coverage testing is valuable in identifying conditions that may lead to unexpected program behavior logical errors and untested code path it may lead to improve the reliability and robustness of the software by ensuring all the possible decision outcome that has been considered during the testing Branch coverage testing provides confidence that a program handles different decision scenarios effectively. Let's take a look at our agenda. We will start off with what is white box testing. Moving on, we understand what is branch coverage testing and learn why do we need to learn branch coverage testing. Next, we'll take a look at how to perform branch coverage testing. And lastly, we have some of the use cases of branch coverage testing. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. Now let's start with the first topic. What is white box testing? White box testing is a software testing technique that tests the internal structure and coding of the software to verify the input output flow and to improve the design, usability and security of software. Since the code is visible to the testers, it is called white box or open box or clear box testing. One can apply the white box testing at the unit, integration and system level of the software testing process. Whitebox evaluates the program's functionality without the knowledge of internal structure. Whitebox testing requires the testers to access the source code and an understanding of how the software operates. The main objective of Whitebox testing is to assess the code integrity by verifying all the possible code path, branches and the statements that are thoroughly tested. Testers design the test case specifically to target different parts of the code including the error prone areas and boundary condition. This examination helps to identify the logical errors, coding mistake and potential vulnerabilities early in the development process. Whitebox testing often employs coverage matrix like statement coverage, branch coverage and path coverage to measure the extent of code exercised during testing. While whitebox testing offers many benefits like early defect detection and enhanced code quality, it can be resource intensive and requires testing with a strong understanding of programming language and software architecture. In this video, we'll focus on branch coverage testing. Branch coverage testing, as mentioned before, is a white box testing technique that specifically targets decision points in the code. It ensures both the true and false branch of the conditions are tested helping identify issues related to decision logic and conditions. So the next topic is, what is branch coverage testing? Branch coverage testing is a method used for software testing to evaluate the thoroughness of the code cases by examining different branches or decision points within a program source code. It ensures that all the possible routes or outcome results from the conditional statements are tested. The goal of branch coverage testing is to achieve 100% coverage, meaning that every potential branch, both true and false outcomes of the conditional statement should be tested at least once. In practical terms, this involves creating specific test case that all the design to target different branches in the code. These test cases are then executed to verify that each branch is functional as expected. The process helps to identify untested or potential problematic code path, thereby covering logical errors or potential bugs. Branch coverage testing are essential aspects of the software quality assurance. While it may not guarantee the absence of all the defects, it significantly contributes to enhancing the overall reliability and performance of the software application. It provides a structured approach to evaluate the effectiveness of the test case and ensure that the program logic is thoroughly tested, which is crucial for delivering high-quality software to the end users. Let's consider a scenario. Tim loves ice cream and wants to ensure that he tries all the different flavors available at his favorite ice cream parlor. He decides to use branch coverage testing to make sure he does not miss any flavor. Tim obtains the menu from the ice cream parlor 
and then list all the available flavors and combination. This menu is like a source code, revealing all the possible ice cream options. Tim studies the menu and makes a list of all the different ice cream flavors, toppings and combinations he wants to try. Each choice represents the branch in his ice cream type. Tim visits the ice cream parlor and starts ordering the ice cream flavors and the combinations he planned. With each order, he checks it off the list to keep track of what he tried. Tim ensures that he orders every flavor and combination of his list. By the end of his adventure, he knows that he has achieved 100% branch coverage of the ice cream menu because he tasted everything. Along this way, Tim discovers some new ice cream favorites he might not have tried otherwise, thanks to his approach. Tim's systematic exploration ensures that he covers all the possible flavors. Just as Tim wanted to experience all the ice cream options, branch coverage testing aims to test all the different branches or decision points within a program score to verify its functionality. So the next topic is, why do you need branch coverage testing? Branch coverage testing is a critical aspect of the software testing that helps to ensure reliability, robustness and correctness of software application. It involves examining the code to verify that each branch or decision point is executed at least once during the testing. A branch in the code refers to a point where the program can take one of the two or more paths because of one condition. Achieving high branch coverage is essential for several reasons. First and foremost, branch coverage testing helps to uncover potential flaws or bugs in the code. By ensuring that all the branches are executed, it provides more comprehensive evaluation of the software behavior under different conditions. This is especially important for complex applications where there might be numerous decision points that could lead to different outcomes. Uncovered branches may represent untested scenarios, leaving room for undetected errors and that could manifest in the real-world usage. Moreover, branch coverage testing is crucial for meeting quality assurance. In many industries such as healthcare, finance and aerospace, there are strict regulatory requirements that may demand high level of testing. Demonstrating a high degree of branch coverage provides confidence that the code has been thoroughly examined and adheres to industrial specific standards and practices. Branch coverage testing contributes to improve maintainability of the code base. When developers revisit or modify the code, they can have confidence that existing functionalities are well tested and there are any changes to be made are likely to introduce new errors. This reduces the likelihood of regression errors where changing in one part of the code may affect another part, often unrelated part. So the next topic is how to perform branch coverage testing. Branch coverage testing is a white box testing technique which is used to evaluate and ensure that every branch or the decision point in the software program is executed at least once during testing. The primary goal of branch coverage testing is to ensure the thoroughness of the testing by examining how well different execution paths are covered within a code. So here's how branch coverage testing works. First one is identifying the decision point. The first step in branch coverage testing is to identify the decision points in the code. Decision points are locations in the code where the program can take different parts based on the conditions such as the if statement, switch statements or the looping condition. So the second step is test case creation. For each identified decision point, test case are created to exercise both the possible outcomes true and false condition. This involves designing the input and the condition that will cause the code to follow each branch of the decision point. The next step is test execution. The created test cases are executed against the code under the test. During this phase, the testing tools or the framework tracks which branches are transversed and which one are not. Next we have the branch coverage analysis. 
As the test cases are executed, the testing tool records which branches were taken and which were not. The tool generates a coverage report that shows the percentage of branches that were covered. Then we have review and analysis. Testers and developers review the coverage report to identify any branches that were not exercised during testing. Uncovered branches indicate areas of code that requires additional testing. The next step is retesting. The updated set of test cases include the new one designed to cover the previous uncovered branches is executed. Completion and reporting. Once all the branches are covered or the desired level of coverage is achieved, the testing process is considered to be complete. A final coverage report is generated demonstrating the extent to which the branch coverage has been attended. The last step is evaluation and decision making. Developers in the quality assurance team evaluates the coverage result and use them to make informed decision about the readiness of the software for release. High branch coverage indicates that various code path has been tested and reduces the risk of undiscovered bugs. Branch coverage testing is particularly valuable in safety critical and mission critical software system where thorough testing is essential in minimum risk of the software failure. Achieving branch coverage testing helps to ensure reliability and robustness of the software application. Consider Anu, a teacher who has been tasked to develop a C programming code that calculates the student grades based on the examination score. The grading system is as this. The program defines a function calculating the grade that takes the integer score as the input and returns the corresponding grade characters. The function uses a series of if-else statements to check the score against different grades. Depending on the score value, the function returns the corresponding grade. The first step is to identify the decision point. There are five decision points in the score, one for the grade threshold within the calculate grade function. The second step is to create the test case. To achieve branch coverage testing, we create test cases that covers different score ranges. The third step is to test execution. Running these test cases through the program makes sure that each case is tested. The fourth step is branch coverage analysis. While executing the test, track which branches are taken within the calculate grade function. Step 5. Review the coverage report and confirm that all the branches have been covered, indicating that all the decision points in the code has been tested. Step 6 is completion and reporting. After all the test cases are being executed, the branch coverage report shows that full branch coverage has been achieved for the grading program in C. Moving on, let's see some of the use cases of branch coverage testing. Branch coverage testing is a crucial technique in software testing that aims to ensure that all the decision branches in the code are tested. Here are some of the use cases. The first one is safety critical system testing. Branch coverage testing is extensively used in aerospace and automotive industry to test softwares for safety critical systems such as flight control system, autonomous vehicles and medical devices. In these scenarios, any undetected code path or decision points can have catastrophic scenarios. Branch coverage testing ensures that all the possible flight control decision, navigation choices or medical device responses are thoroughly tested to guarantee safety and reliability. Then we have finance and banking software. In financial applications like banking software, it ensures that the accuracy of financial calculations and security of the transaction. Branch coverage testing helps to verify all the possible decision outcome related to transaction. Interest calculation and security check are properly tested. These reduces the risk of financial error or security vulnerability that could lead to financial loss or fraud. Then we have e-commerce and online retail. E-commerce websites and online retail platforms rely on complex software to handle customer orders, inventory management, and payment processing. Branch coverage testing is used to test various decision points in the code such as pricing, calculation, 
order fulfillment logic and payment process pathway this helps to prevent issues like incorrect pricing order mix up or payment process error that can harm the business reputation and revenue then we have the healthcare system testing healthcare system includes electronic health records and medical diagnosis software that are critical for patient care branch coverage testing is applied to ensure that all the possible routes within the software are thoroughly tested this includes decision point related to patient data security prescription generation and treatment recommendation complete testing is essential to prevent medical errors and ensure patient safety then we have the gaming and entertainment software video games and entertainment software often contains complex logic for rendering graphics handling inputs and stimulating the game worlds branch coverage testing ensures that various game scenarios and user interaction are tested this includes decision branch related to game ai physics stimulation and user interface interaction achieving comprehensive branch coverage improves the overall gaming experience by minimizing the unexpected glitch or gaming issues then lastly we have the web applications for web applications branch coverage testing can uncover issues related to unauthorization data validation and security measures helping to protect against vulnerability and data breaches hope the video gave you a good understanding of branch coverage testing hope to see you again if you like the video please like and subscribe to intellipath youtube channel for more updates like this thank you happy learning intellipath just a quick info guys intellipath offers executive post graduate certification in software development in collaboration with ihub divya samparka iit roorkee through this course you learn a multitude of tools used in the industry such as git react express node js mongo db and more from the esteemed iit roorkee faculties and industry experts with this course we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition you can check out the testimonials on our achievers channel whose link is given in the description below without a doubt this course can set your career to new heights So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of software development.